if the mother is on exclusive uh, breastfeed if the baby is on exclusive breastfeeding we try to eliminate milk protein from the mother's diet totally and this would mean not taking uh, any milk products for coffee tea cheese uh, yogurt uh, other uh, dairy containing food ghee for example so you should look into the components of any uh, foods you eat and try to remove milk containing proteins even small ingestion sometimes uh, brings it back up again so it takes 10 to 14 days after the elimination starts for the baby to settle down so you may need some symptomatic treatment in the initial phases and once the symptom relief comes in if you are exposed accidentally to another uh, milk containing product they may react if the response to milk elimination alone is not enough we start looking at uh, elimination of egg for example which might uh, help improve the situation as well so the further elimination wider elimination is not routinely recommended unless you have a strong reason to think for example fish allergy may be there so you start eliminating fish in the diet so if you eliminate too many things a mother's nutrition might suffer one thing we have to stress here is if the mother is eliminating dairy products she has to take calcium supplements because in the postpartum period she is at high risk for calcium deficiency so uh, if she is uh, not giving exclusive breastfeeding the milk that we give for formula component is a special milk meant for milk allergy the so called hypoallergenic milk in the uae market is different from the hypoallergenic milks in the us market where they label the uh, extensively hydrolyzed milks as hypoallergenic but in the uae market it's a partially hydrolyzed milks uh, which are labeled as hypoallergenic these are not treatments for cow's milk protein intolerance so we have to go for extensively hydrolyzed uh, milk products uh, for example uh, elicare from similac is an example we have uh, alernova from novalac we have aptamil pepti from uh, the aptamil group so we have different uh, extensively hydrolyzed milks uh, if they don't respond to extensively hydrolyzed milk or it's a severe allergy and you want to go for the best treatment available you have to go for an amino acid formula uh i mentioned uh, elicare as extensively hydrolyzed is actually an amino acid formula and we also have uh, neocate uh, uh, which is well established as a uh, good treatment for milk protein allergy we have uh, rice based formula where these uh, the milk is exactly similar like the infant formula but the protein component of it is uh, produced from rice hydrolyzed rice so in uae market we get something called blemil hr Uh, the hydrolyzed rice has been shown as an alternative which is cheaper and also it's tolerated well by most of these babies so if you want less expensive option because they extensively hydrolyzed and especially the amino acid milks are very expensive a tin may range from 120 130 dirhams in uae to uh, 200 dirhams for the amino acid formula uh, the uh, hydrolyzed rice formula is a cheaper alternative uh obviously it's industry grade so the toxicity the arsenic toxicity risk from rice should be reduced and it's uh, hopefully uh, going to be an option in uh, babies where uh, the uh, affordability is less uh, but however the uh, extensively hydrolyzed milks are the first choice and uh, some of them come with a thickener because reflux is an associated feature uh, the thickener might uh, help as well